All right, so you want to know how to change your banner in uh, Google Classroom. So you can see here that in my dashboard, I do have different colors for my classes, but how if I have the same template on, you know, these ones at the bottom here, they look all the same and it gets a little bit tricky to tell them apart. So um, what I do when I open up a class is you can either do like select theme or upload photos. So if you do select theme, you're limited to what's, you know, in Google Classroom. So there's these general ones, which are nice, and you can go to like arts and you can check things. But the problem is if you teach all art classes or all music classes, it's all the same. It would be nice if you could go in and maybe change these colors, but right now you can't. So either you pick from these, you know, just preloaded uh, ones there, or you go to upload photo. And in that case, you can put your own banners in here, your own picture, but that can get kind of tricky. So I'm going to show you how I make my banners. So I will go into um, where's my picture? Google Drawings. And you're going to set up your doc so that it is uh, the optimal size for Google Classroom. Now, I know this only from a lot of trial and error and Googling and stuff, but I will share this with you. So if you make your page setup custom and you change it to pixels and you enter, I just wrote this down, 1000 by 250, you will see that your screen turns to a long rectangle like Google Classroom header. So what you can do now is you might want to call this a uh, class header um and then what i actually like to do is i kind of make one header but then i might like make a giant shape that like becomes the background that's like blue and then i might do one in like red and then do one in yellow so it's all the same banner but they're different colors so then i can kind of color code my classes so now that i have this shape in here and you're probably like well i don't you know i'm not an artist it's okay you can go into like insert word art and you can type in like creative tech class you know, and it'll just pop up there in the middle and you can like fill it and make it snazzy and do, you know, whatever you want to do there. Um, the other thing you can do is you can just go into insert image from drive and then whatever you have in your drive here. So one of the things I have saved is in that image folder I had open before, um, a folder full of like bitmojis. So I might go in and find, uh, Where's one where I'm typing on the computer? Ooh, here, knowledge is power. So let's use that, we'll bring that in. So we can throw that in, we can move this around, we can put whatever else we want in, you know, our banner. The one thing I do try to do is I leave white space all the way around because sometimes it can get cut off at like the top or the bottom or whatever. So you put in what you wanna put. Then you save it as an image. So when I go into classroom, whoops, it's going to ask me. Yeah, save it on my desktop. Um, go back into classroom. This time you're going to upload your photo. And I'm going to find my photo that I just saved. And you see how you get these weird, like, lines? I'm going to move that up as big. Oops. My background's white, so it's a little harder to see it. And then... Basically, you stretch it out to as big as you can, and then you hit select class theme, and then what happens is it goes in like that. Now, it always darkens your background, which is kind of annoying to me, but I know I understand that it's for like readability. So you can see how that size I had and the amount it's cropped or like not cropped, but how you can kind of make that work for you. What I currently have is my backdrop for most of my classes is this big thing here that says assignments are in the classwork tab because kids go to the stream and they go, oh, it doesn't say Mrs. Lugan posted an assignment. But if you go to the classwork tab, I absolutely did post an assignment every single day. So um, that's just my effort to uh, get kids to click and look, uh, you know, mixed results. But that's how you go in and change your um, Google Classroom header.